Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Short Back and What's Happening. What is happening? Well, we are live. We are live. Right. Who are you? What do you do? And what have you been in McGabry for? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm McGabry's all right, we place. You, oh, you're on about the actual jail. I'm yeah. on about the village. No, I'm on the jail. Yeah. No, I thought you were up yeah. there for that. Remember that thing you were talking about? But today, <laughs> folks, so, sorry to interrupt there. We, we, have our, we have a big, big guest today. We have our first ever podcast appearance, Miss Leanne McCoy. Yeah. First, yeah. Welcome. First video. Thank you very much. Yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you first this off. This is the most fucking threatening setup ever. <laughs> yeah. what, what do you mean? Sure, this. What's the sign? What do you mean? He came around the corner outside with a fucking Rottweiler and just. Well. This, this is autism awareness. Yeah. Two autisms beside you, but I am aware. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking hyper aware. Yeah. But uh, you're, so obviously, Leanne, you're a fellow comedian like ourselves, uh, attention seeker in the business. Yep. Um, you've recently got fully into it. I thought you were going to say recently have trauma. Yeah. <laughs> That's what sure, you we all do. <laughs> you, all, you all wake up and do it. Like. Yeah. I didn't realise it trauma until I started doing this with Burnsy, and then mm. I realised, fuck, I've just not a load of it there that's yeah. just yeah. sitting there ready to be joked at. Yeah. It's but good, like. But you're also a fellow Nuri lady. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a... We had a bit of a Nuri out. So what, what part of Nuri are you from? Point Road. I'm the posh side. Yeah. I am not actually from Nuri, I'm a country. I'm, I'm from South Armagh, but I don't like that term. Snipers at work. <laughs> That's what I don't like. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the only two things if you come from South Armagh, you're either a farmer or you're in the rye. Yeah, no in between. Oh, well, you know what I mean? You're farming while you're in the rye, I thought, no. Well, I thought the farming was the cover, the rye. Fucking silent season, <laughs> British bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back Gisbert Park. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. No, I'm here. It's, it's all out. Burnsy's dad's where I give off about him talking Don't about Yeah, but it's got his good reels or yeah. good numbers in the reels. So yeah. you know yourself. You got to do what the numbers are saying, Leanne. You know yourself. <laughs> See, we, yeah, we never had that. No, we didn't have. We just had pets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know they were worse because they actually carried guns, legal yeah. guns. Great bunch of lads. Great, 100%. Great bunch of Did you have any experience with like the? Like the kind of troubles growing well, up in the it's a well, serious question. Like I don't want to know. Like my dad got his face blown up. I, I just mean like, did you have any like funny stories? I love like, how this like, has taken unexpected turn. I um, want to talk about Port Rush, but okay. <laughs> funny stories? Not no, not really. Um, Nothing really funny no, apart from them bombs I, in the fucking I milk could, cartons. I could, I could really trauma dump on you, but I'm not going to I'll do it afterwards. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll do that in part two. <laughs> no, I, 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 um, we had a pub mm -hmm. back in the day, like in the fucking early nineties or whatever. Um, in, New Town Hamilton, yeah, which is a lovely place. Um, I know the bar, to be honest. I near think I know the bar. Which one? Your, your this been releasing times? No. No, no, no. Like, in, like you see, I'm old. S These cons aren't old. I am. Nah, but I feel like no. No, not really. I feel like there was something McCooey's before. The yeah, 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 yeah. Do you the, mean I yeah. feel like that? Because even when he was saying you're coming down, I was like, I feel like I know you, but so from the name. McCoy shop in Camer Road. That's what. See. It, no. Uh, we also had a pub. But I got a... Uh, that's the uh, shop that Sumi was all about! Remember the that? shop? Remember that? the shop that Sumi was all about? What was that floppy-haired cunt saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember you saying about the shop outside some halls? Yes, that, is that no, what? No, that's not Greg. Ah, right, right. Are so. you even from Nuri? I am, but it's been that way. It's ten years, like, you know myself. I forgot that's Dan's now. Yeah. Up, Dan's he's a blue one. Dan's is where you get the underage alcohol. Yeah. Sorry, McCoy's is yeah. in camera. That's fucking litigious, yeah. that statement. Anyway, point is... Lifted the phone in the pub one day and uh, this this voice come on because usually, like a phone in a pub is literally mm -hmm. the only reason that's there is so that women can ring up and be like, "Is my husband is there?" John there? <laughs> and you're like, "John, John who? John? I don't know any John. I don't know John here. Here. <laughs> Like such uh, a Simpson moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Moe's. Yeah. So um, so I answered the phone one day and it was um, this is uh, the loyalist volunteer force, <laughs> just letting you know that there's a bomb uh, on your premises and there's a bomb in the car outside the building. And he's 40 which minutes. one? Which one? <laughs> got 40, 40 minutes to evacuate. And I was like... No, he's not here right now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's 100%. Thanks very much. Good luck. I put the phone down. And I was like, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> you ring your the mate. fuck did they get in here to put a bomb in, did we? <laughs> you ring your mates being like, here, we're getting the bag in. I'm getting out of work early here. <laughs> <laughs> do you get down to dance or get the carry out? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then, obviously, I went and I told my dad. And I was like, dad. The LVF just rang there, and there's a bomb, and he was like, "Is there fuck?" They <laughs> <laughs> would have thrown the whole way. But he said there was, and he was like, "And then one four seven one had just become a thing, yeah, right." 
And he was like, Do you know what this is? One fourth, yeah, oh, he doesn't know what this you is. Know what? See? No. What? Now, welcome to my one. Oh. You know what I mean? See, you, oh. ah, see, normally they make fun of me being the oldest person here now. I'm glad you've taken How that off me today. How the fuck can you not know what that is? He's what no is clue. It? Call back, you fucking man. Oh, is that what it is? Right. Like, yeah, but oh. like, well, oh, 1471, and then if you wanted to call back, you had five. But oh, is that what it was? It cost you money. Right. So, I and thought... then you put the phone. If, if somebody was in. Oh. No, that's no, I'm full of shit, actually. Don't listen to that. Yeah. Anyway, if you didn't, if you wanted to know who was phoning yeah. you, right, you never knew. Mm -hmm. Back in the day. She knew fucking. No, no LED. Yeah. No. So if somebody rung you and was like, you're a wanker, and put the phone down, you'd be like, Oh, uh, who is I this? never know who this yeah. is. Bastards. And then one day in the early 90s, somebody in BT was like, do you know what we'll do? I'm sick of that. <laughs> and then you could be like, 1471, aha. Take the number down. Yeah. yeah. So my dad was like, I knew 1471, I'll find out where it is. And it was, it was, um, it was like a Korean number or something like that. And he was like, oh. far enough away anyway. Aye. So we didn't bother doing anything. It was like, <laughs> to evacuate, no? No, it's too far to evacuate. Like, fuck it, it'll be grand. <laughs> And They'll was, never make it home in 40 minutes. Yeah, That's it turns out it was craft. Was well, it right now? Yeah. None of us died. And the hell. place didn't blow up. Yeah. Ta -da. And Ozzy went on stage that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you obviously, you had your own business in Nuri too. You had the business. Business. Yeah. Such a Nuri thing. Yeah. Business. Business. <laughs> HMRC, business. It, was a, it, was a, it was a, what was it, like a cafe? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that, is happening. Like there. Uh, see, well, I he, just had a stroke. He's never been self-employed, so he actually doesn't on the... We, this is going to be an open his eyes. We are getting a sponsorship through a financial company and he's going to have to do the ad with me. And it's, he's going to actually understand that and tax maybe while we do. You doing. don't want to understand it. It's all you don't. You it's don't. shit like. It's fucking awful. Is it? Yeah. It Hateful as fuck. the joy out of everything. Life. Mm. Gone. You know? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I did have a business and it was a cafe. Yeah. A kiffer. It was a cafe. Uh, it's so a Sinn Féin officer mm -hmm. based on Patrick Street. <laughs> Sinn Féin office was right beside me on Monon Street. They moved during COVID. Beside you? Yeah. It's handier. <laughs> Leon, few scones there. What's the crack? <laughs> oh, no, we, we, we had a great working relationship. I just didn't. They were just in there going, make sure you put the X on here, and here, and here. And I mean, just show all your customers uh, this is how you vote, okay? Just used to make this joke because obviously there was unique was beside it. Uh, yeah. So it was like a beauty place. Mm -hmm. So it was like you can get your nails done, then get your knees done, then yeah. <laughs> all, all in one street. You know? That's <laughs> fucking close. Uh, be like, because you'd send the wife in, get her pampered to be like, there's, there's a ton. I need to go in here, get a stiff coffee. Obviously, you're going like, fuck, I haven't I meeting. I haven't meeting out the back of fucking the Shinner's office here. You know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah. nearly could do it in phases. You can nearly, depending on the meeting, you could do it in different times. You know what I mean? Well, I go to Shinner's first. Is you know I mean, are you maybe getting a grant today? Yeah. I you know, know what I mean? Shinner's are Shinner's good for their grant. grant. I got my COVID grant actually. Did you get your COVID grant? I don't know what you're on about. Right. <laughs> no, I'm joking, you joking. should have just employed someone like me. You would have got a grand, like a proper grand, like to do what? Because he, he's the make a wish. Uh, oh, get, like they pay yeah. for him to work. Uh, right, okay. Uh, no, get no, a wee government fellow wouldn't wear that high shorts. You know what I mean? Like he's gonna fuck off. I'm, 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 <laughs> what, what happened to your wee knee? What do you mean? It's oh it's right, a... so it looks like we're sucking cock. Uh, contrary to popular belief, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a proposal. <laughs> um, I only get down to one knee when I suck dick. When I, I lick ass, it's two knees because I need to get right <laughs> down there. I was out misbehaving on Saturday night and I fell in someone's front garden in Stranmore. And is that a euphemism? No, generally I fell asleep. Front garden, <laughs> front bum, he means. Uh, <laughs> fell into someone's blurt and busted my knee. Someone's blurt. Ah, blurt she obviously a had a word. Isn't it he fucking blurt? And I was like, oh. Memories. The young, the <laughs> you young lad's doing well. <laughs> you, don't, you don't hear that enough. Like, yeah. Blurt. So well, she had a wooden frame then, I assume? I should have sucked, sure. You know yourself. It's. Um, and you see what yeah. you think we have an answer there, Leon? Yeah. I, I'm just going. Well, I'm, I'm doing what? I was looking around there and I was like, everybody's ginger. Uh, we'd like doing this. Yeah. The whole thing. Bernsey <laughs> likes bringing people down from the Nuri BT area. Like, I don't know why he does this. Like, yeah, but like, the story was like, you stop telling people you're from Newry. But when you stop that, I'm actually going to bring in fifth, five guests <laughs> all in a row, all from Newry. And I was like, what the fuck's the point in this? What's that got to do with being ginger? I don't know. Because we're all from Newry, technically. Is that not where you're obsessed with Newry? He like, fucking loves it. He hasn't been there in 10 years. If you love it that much, why didn't you fucking open it? No, couldn't go to Newry. Why? He owes tech. I'd be taking fucking Newry <laughs> one all day and fuck that. Imagine oh, fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. Oh, but that's what you have to say to them. You mean? And they'd be like, he, owes Marty, he, are, he owes Marty Bog roll a mountain bike. That's what the problem is. No, oh, it's you know Marty. Marty. I do what? I've never plucked up the courage to talk to Marty. You don't need to pluck it up. Just say you. you no, but like. See, <laughs> just, that's I, all you I, have to say. Like, you stop and the handbrake. Fucking <laughs> three point turn by. Fucking dick. Because, like, no. everybody knows you call Marty Bog yeah. I'm, like, polite and shit. Uh, so, <laughs> and shite. Yeah. So you have to. I, I'd be like, 
I would never call somebody by their name unless you can call them Martin if you want. Introduced to them. Yeah. You know, hello, pleased to meet you, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to just assume that it his name might be Marty, it might be fucking Paul. Cadro. Yeah. <laughs> Did I don't you know think so from um, your um, Who was the one, Mary? Do you know what? That is absolute fiction. Her name's not Mary. I know what the woman's name is, and yeah. it's not fucking Mary. I watched that floppy cunt <laughs> talking about Mary, and I know I've done that twice. The fucking, oh. fucking Mr. Harry Corey and um, fucking curtains. Oh, don't. <laughs> he's trying to get a man bun. Oh, I, have I, the, I have the kind of defend his hair cut because obviously a boy back in your I know cuts he it. Has who? Aaron Campbell. Uh, I don't know. Is he related to? Nah, uh, nah soup. Eh? <laughs> so there's obviously you know chef. They've got the you got the mushroom soup, and then you got the chicken soup. So I mean that the whole soupy clown goes so deep like it's fucking crazy. Like <laughs> are they like the wards, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean there's a whole shelf of them and the fuck. <laughs> well, I don't know, but uh, he does have lustrous hair. Mm. There is no doubt about it. He does. does. Not, he's not a wanker so. though. Like like <laughs> he's not a wanker. He's really. a fucking prick. Yeah, we we yes. love him. Like yeah. normally we, we do love him. Like this episode right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 He's, he's like everybody's like punching bag, but you wouldn't actually punch him. Like we have a group. What chat. do you mean? He bring a fucking Adolce Vita down? I know, but it's he's all good. Crack, crack. Bag. He brought a Dolce down. Yeah. Oh. Was it not just like fucking stone cold and? Just he t- see, this is how you know he's a good fat bastard. He ate it in ten foil. I mean, we were like, Stevie, I wasn't familiar with your game, like. Not his first rodeo, obviously. Yeah. He knew the crack, like. I thought you were going to say that he bought, like, one of those, like, pizza delivery bags. <laughs> like, <that laughs> delivery abs- bag? Yeah, that I absolutely have one. What's the wee code fucking- there in the app? Fucking <laughs> 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 Reginaldo. Oh, fuck. Oh. Reginaldo's the local Uber Eats guy, so he is in Newry. There's one Uber Eats man in Newry? Yeah, his name's Reginaldo. Fuck me. Reginaldo. That's two footballers in one. Yeah, Reginald. Reginald is civil as fuck. Is he? Oh, he's a nice guy. Oh, all them boys love that. We go way back. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all out <laughs> here now. <laughs> we're, uh, we're writing it all here, Reginald. Will you be on next here? Can I, can you tell the story? And you said it on Friday night about the free travellers that came in to your shop. No, I can't because it's, it's, it's the only that. bit that I have. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 but it is, it is true, right? She's it's, going it's, on tour for three months yeah. with that, you wanker. Yeah. You I've been, that, that has been my You're sa- a prick, he does this all the time. This is my saving grace, right? Because any time I'm like, right, I'm going to try something new and I'll be like yeah. thinking about it and then I'll be like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. I'll just fucking, I'll just do the traveller joke. Um, <laughs> it's, it's because it is true. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's on my Instagram. It's on like a fucking highlight because mm-hmm. I actually like live chatted through it yeah basically one morning in Yuri, i'm there fucking opening the shop up half eight in the morning and there's two travelers only people awake at that time 100 uh, percent. and they're like wearing like cream suits and they were fucking they were out guys. for the day then they had been out there was a wedding in kilkeel the day before <laughs> they'd fucking traveled and they had uh, obviously been on the rip landed up in Yuri, still on the rip and they wanted to go to a 24-hour casino right because obviously it's fucking Nicky Thompson land. <laughs> yeah. It's nearly like, you know. Uh, but Just anyway, landed in with a load of copper here. Where do you go? So long story short, it went from, is there a 24-hour casino about here to can you get us a bag of sniff and can we come back to your house and mill you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I took an unexpected turn. <laughs> casino was closed then, I assume. <laughs> and you know what? I actually tell the, the, the story wrong, right? Because what happened was they, w- they went away and they, w- they had a bit of banter, a bit of crack. And uh, they went away to the fucking. What, what do you mean? They had a bit of cocaine? Is that what? They went <laughs> no, away, had no, a bit of just, bathroom, just fucking, bit of yeah. crack. No, right. So <laughs> they did that. Told them where the casino was. They went away about their business. See later. One, good obviously, luck. money was in. But Leanne's then, good luck. <laughs> one came back in a taxi. And <laughs> jo- jumped out of the taxi. A jack strap on just. And uh, I was like, "Good lad." And he says, uh, good lad. "Could you get us a bag of sniff?" And I was like. No, <laughs> I, I can't. Like, Gram of sugar there, you want? And he says, uh, "No, I'm just, I'm, I'm, you're, you're bound to know, you're bound to know, like what, what the story is around the town here, like you know." And no. I was like, "I can't, like." Yeah. And then he was like, "All right," and then he jumped into the car, into the taxi, and away on again. And I was like, "This is mental." And yeah. then they landed back. Yeah. With ten glass bottles of Smirnoff. Bag of snuff. No. Well, two two no, Viagra. Um, <laughs> two liter bottle of Seven Up, Diet Seven Up, and plastic glasses. And I had, like, the place was, like, busy, and there was, like, wee women in being all, like, you know. Hello, Joanne, how you doing? Yeah. Just the usual scone there. And there's this lad. But outside, they're not too hot. Fucking, just pure, like, fucking grinding against the windy, being like, come on, I'm <laughs> so I was like, no! So, uh, yeah, so the actual... Don't fucking dry turn like the the, uh, the the actual real end of that was that I actually, I actually had a phone. 
Christ. Did you bring them? Did I? Fucking snitches yeah. get ditches. But I know that. Fuck. I'm saying that they weren't going to go. Yeah. We're having this no, but it wasn't age, sexual right? harassment until they came into the shop. <laughs> no, it's not sexual harassment. But it was like, as I say, there was, there was a potential that there was they three have. elderly women were going to pass away peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, it was just a pure cock fest outside. Well, you know, you never know. They could have been in the Devonish. I mean, they could have fucking seen this all before. This is, oh. the, this is the days before the Devonish. So, uh, but you know what? The Name the episode. <laughs> the days before the, the Devonish. The rocked up and the, the, the two lads were just, they were loving life. They yeah. were letting them frisk them. They poured the fucking Smyrnaf down the um, down the drain and yeah. them. They didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and there was a woman frisking one of them and he was all like, Whoa! Oh. And he was like, do you want a cigarette? And she's all like, no, I'm fine, thank yeah. you. you I know, just had one. <laughs> you, you couldn't have not liked these guys. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. good crack. One. Like, See, this is... But, you know... That's nerdy, though. It's all yeah. shits and giggles till... They see they don't deal with the depth of different people from different areas, diversities, everything. In Lisbon, it's very yeah. mainstream. Middle right class here. Protestants, that's it. Aye. That's, so like, that's I'm not gonna lie. So down here, obviously, with growing up in Uri, I was in her traffic starting off because you can imagine uh, how many travellers I done. I literally had a ninety five percent clientele of just travellers, which was fantastic. Yeah. Cause they were just in all love and undercut. Love and undercut and love ending half price. So I was looking after them, and then same hand, I was just knocking my course off. Do you mean they yeah. were like fucking perm? I'd be like, we need to see the next one comes in here. Next thing, she would have come in black hair and all. I'd be like, no, be lovely on you, perm. You would look fabulous. And they'd be like, no, no way, and all the fella wouldn't go for that and all. I said, I'm telling you, just be soft perm in there. A I, soft perm. I would have had these things looking fucking wild, but see if it got it ticked off and they got it half price. Everyone's a fucking winner. Everyone's a winner. So I give you a, a same story came in here one time, obviously. He's my mate. He's a traveller, obviously, but he comes in here all the time with his kid and all. It's brilliant, right? Where do you hear this here? <laughs> so one day he comes in this first ever time he's came in, and next thing straight away I hear the accent, obviously, no crack. So I thought everybody in here is going to cry. And they did. You know what I mean? And then I said, Well, what's crack, lad? Next thing, well, no, straight away on the ball. Like, I says, Look at the haircut. He says, Yeah, grab a seat there. No, but next thing the boys are like, How the fuck did you understand what he just said? I know, oh, no, I'm not joking. This is Lisbon. Yeah. You know what it's like, right? Yeah. Well, fuck me, Jesus. There's a mouse in the house. This is Ollie, folks, by the way, in case you're yeah. hearing high heels going about, there's not a fucking strip club in here tonight. <laughs> it was just me. <laughs> it definitely isn't. So, uh, what do you hear? She obviously comes in, whole crack, boys can't believe it. And I says, and well, what's crack? Where are you from? And he says, Belfast. Now, I know this comes off from Belfast. Like, I mean, the thickest English accent ever, but the real traveller accent. Yeah, yeah. So I says, right, dead on. And he says, where are you from? And I says, Lisburn. And he just looked at me like stead, and I says, both of us are lying. Who's going to tell the truth first? He went, ah, <laughs> well, I mean, all this here started. Well, from Manchester and all the whole story came out. And I was like, I'm from Yuri. He says, ah, fuck Jesus, you Yuri ones and all. I said, what the fuck does that mean? Like, as soon as you say Yuri to a traveling person, they're like, ah, Jesus, got some deals done back there. It's like, sure, okay, maybe just sexual harasser in McCoy shop, maybe, maybe. Jean <laughs> 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 Petro. Right. Can't remember that Saturday morning there when fucking eight grannies near change your sledgehammer? <laughs> there was, um, I I was down at the the Pav, John Shortland. Yes, yeah, yeah, doing, yeah, yeah. Um, was doing five, and I went down to like support him or whatever, and I stayed down for the night uh-huh. and took the dog with me and all the Malmaise on because I'm a baller. Like, yeah. Uh, Nearly moved active. Because I'm a fat cunt. <laughs> after, after the gig, I was like, I'm fucking starving, so I was like. I can go to McDonald's, fuck it. Oh. Right, so I went down to McDonald's in fucking... Crack McDonald's. Street? McDonald's. Yes, oh, right. no, you don't go to that McDonald's. Well, do you know what? That's, it, that's You're on holidays. Happened, right? I fucking but it was, it was two... You was didn't a, know, you didn't know. There was a traveller gentleman and a traveller lady. Yes. And they were having a conversation. And I was like, I wanted... They wouldn't let me in with the dog. And I had I ordered on the app. And mm-hmm. I was like, the fuck am I going to do here? So I said, I was like, I, was like, I trust them. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, could you mind my dog? Nah, it's uh, not a girl, so you can't breed her. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and, and your man, the, the man was like, he's like I fucking love dogs, boy. That's not a Belfast accent. He says, You're a country girl. Yeah. Right? You're a country girl. Yeah. I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've heard that term before, but it's never been applied to me. Yeah. yeah. So I like, liked it. Yeah. And I was like, Why, where are you from? He's like, From Limerick. And I was like, Got nothing. Like, yeah. I don't know. The rubber bandits? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, <laughs> do you stop people? There's a horse outside. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so we had a, had a fun five or ten minutes. He, he minded the dog for me. And then he started giving out to the bouncers and he was like, why won't you let her in with the dog? Aye. Your man was just like, fucking discrimination, you know. That's a fucking moment. No, no. What about dog shit's all over fucking place? You know what I mean? That dog could be dying. 
Do you mean that dog might just want to fuck up with cheeseburger and you know, let's go, you know, like another woman in her skull home? See what I mean? That was actually a yeah, normal was accent. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you have no idea that I have to fucking put up with. What like, do you mean? You come here at the end of a day after working a full day, so my energy is low. No. This is what you're dealing with. You, you asked how I know Cahill, right? 16 years of age, did work experience with him. First day. Don't traumatize the dog. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> first day came in, and I, I didn't know, like, I had only knew, knew him to see, routine. right? And so sorry, he comes in looking like he's on a three-day bender, come down central, all red, superstars, right? Never forget <laughs> it. All what, red? Don't yeah. ask. Just went, the paper stairs. Went in, put a conditioner on his hands, <laughs> flick back, oh. right? And I was like, this guy don't fuck about it. I've never no seen this before in my life. And he says to me, else. and I, now bear in mind, I'm 16, I'm a baby. He like, and he, I am baby. a child, I am a child. And he goes at he goes Adam, see if you fuck about this week. I'm gonna say to your teachers, you did fucking nothing. And I goes, no bar. If you do that, I'll say you touched me. I swear to God. Holy fuck! First day I've met meeting him, and it, rat. Yeah, then rat. Within the first fifteen minutes, like yeah. And then after that, so he I went, just walked past him. I knew that, so we fucking bastard. Believe all gingers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought was it. Didn't really say much to him because he was a wee fucking rat, titan See, cunt. You touched me. Yeah. What the fuck? I know. Ugly looking fucking state of him. You know what I mean? Lush. But he got me back. Because what did he, he do? He did ask me to touch you. Well, he did talk. Well, he allegedly not. Um, <laughs> I've got Stockholm Syndrome. Um, <laughs> he sent me to B&M for a bucket of steam. And stupid bastard here. You didn't. I oh, did. Of course he did. You Dumb yeah. fuck. A fucking idiot. Like, Dumb fuck. Here he is. Oh, I have a hot towel coming in. I need a bucket of steam. And I went, hurry. Because <laughs> uh, no way. He thought I was a traveller. They see the whole point of this story. The underland thing is, he thought I was a traveller when a he first met. Steam. I walked into B and M. I'm about all that there. A bucket of steam to me. No, but I'm just like, yeah. like I didn't think uh, people actually. Well, we did this on a guy uh, who worked in the bank. Uh, a chef was signed up the, the shop for strawberry lalettes. Oh, lalettes are a tampon, guys. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. I was going to say, what is that? And on, do you not know? Have you not no. got a woman? No. I, I do, but thankfully. Does she not bleed. Not on me. <laughs> Often. <laughs> Whatever he is. Uh, yeah, strawberry lilettes. We told him were a special sweet that uh, was ordered in only for, for me. And he was like, all right, then. So <laughs> off he went. It's like that, uh, there's one there in Belfast I've seen. Uh, did you see the Beige Daisy one? Did you see the podcast with the Beige Daisies? Uh, so they actually ring my florist in Carrick, I think. I don't want to say. It is Carrick, because they get really offended up there if you say Carrick, Lorne, fucking Newton Breed or something, whatever's up there. Fucking hills of eyes up there. Uh, so up in Carrick, so obviously they ring in and says, hello, uh, how you doing? Have you any uh, beige daisies? And then so we, oh, we lovely woman call Liz. No, she's... I've got daisies, or I've got such and such like a beige daisy, but there, I mean, there's nothing, oh, there's no. nothing like a beige daisy. And oh, he's like, oh, oh, I but I want a beige daisy. And then obviously Liz is obviously in the phone like... Giving him options, and then he was like, "Have you any pussy willow?" That's a half plant. But then I oh, no. My birds, he didn't know for fuck's sake. He's learning loads today. One more. I'll one tell you something, pussy willow, do you mean? Right. I'll tell you something, and you have to remember, my grand is a man in his eighties, right? Right. And he's loves no a bit ma- of pussy willow. The, I hope he doesn't. My granny's he been dead twenty years. He's all about the pompous grass pussy. now. <laughs> blurt, w- blurt willow. How do you call it, pussy willow? Pussy. Blurt willow. <laughs> Front bum willow. Gross. <laughs> Cheap out, Willow. What the fuck's that got to your granda? I'm going to tell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tell you. Fuck me. Never cool. So, my That's granda, funny, obviously, funny, yeah. was born in the 1940s, right? He wanted that, right, so, Bert, like, back in the day, Set the you know the way any meanie c- catch a swear word by the toe, right? I know this Any This is uh, all wrong. This is no, right. fucking cut. <laughs> yeah. right, right. Start right. again. <laughs> or so do you know the way there was a whole catch the yes. N-word by a toe, yes. right? Yes. So growing up, when my granda was my age, you used to get the N-word paint. And my granda walked into Kearney's, Kearney's uh, paint shop in the Longstone about five years ago, and he goes, right, well, Cahill, I'm looking at a tub of N-word brown paint. <laughs> And I went, Dennis, it's not called that anymore. Like, it's called tartan paint or something. <laughs> and he went, all oh, right. That's it's called re- sand brown, mate. And, and I just remember, ah, it's a load of bollocks. The world's one fucking soft. Like, it's called sand brown. Is, now, this is the same man that says the gays are coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking God. Do you not say it's actually out of the cupboard? You it's not what? the wardrobe. It's not wrong. Yeah. It's not wrong. It's a closet. Yeah, it's is that what he calls a wardrobe? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the N word as a colour description. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was a yeah, thing. I heard that before. There was a, yeah. uh, one of my customers, her mommy and daddy got married whenever, blah, blah, blah. And back in the day, you used to get your photograph in the area recorder. 
and it, it was like they had changed into like they're going away on their honeymoon rig out. Oh no way! Right? And, he was uh, wearing and, a soft and it, brown and it suit. Was fucking like blah 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 blah. The bride and groom went here and and the bride was wearing whatever 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 and N word brown shoes. <laughs> and this is printed. They've Bro, got they it. Get me a pair of those. <laughs> yeah, they've got it. They've got it at home. Snakeskin. Like fucking <laughs> that fucking class, but not. I mean, it's like Jesus today. This is going. <laughs> and Leanne, I make up the room here. You and Yuri by him. I mean, in as and in terms of it's funny the way that the world used to be and it's like, like yeah it's hilarious no it's not <laughs> uh, I'm digging myself a hole she's got to stay in the house no. couldn't go out take her I'm going to go full Kanye oh, here shit. it was a choice <laughs> People getting minimum wage and all now. Oh, no, 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 I just mean as in like, like imagine like going into your granny's dressing Here, room. The world was fucking class. You <laughs> buy a house for two pence and a fucking rape doll. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sure, I can't say the end. Obviously, the dolls. Remember the dolls you had to do? Oh, wow. Well, uh, yes, that's another one. Yeah. Uh, this is like a time capsule. Am I having a stroke? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. More a like. Rape doll. Or not a, I didn't want to say. What's the actual name of that doll? I remember the 19 dolls when they would have been called in the shoes end too. What do you call the doll? A gollywog. That's the one. Ah, oh. is, that, right. is, that a, is that a slur? <laughs> is gollywog a slur? It was a rape to the, uh, the no, system. Well, no. no. Let's say it enough to figure it out. <laughs> uh, uh, well, there no. is a rape doll, sorry, as well. What is, that's the one in the court. That's the court doll. Aye. Ah, sorry, I mixed them up. Oh. That's, Should an, we Uncle that's an old yeah, one yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. What do you call? But do you know what I'm on about? Touch me here. Yeah. Yeah. It's like no face on it. Aye, the, it's like a thumb. The leader of the DUP doll. Oh, the Jeffrey doll. <laughs> There's a lot of Jeffreys out there. Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. Very pedo names. Yeah. Is. Jeffrey Dahmer. I, I, I'm wondering, can I like do like the fucking, you know, whenever... Jack Lucido? No, not even. <laughs> you know, in, in Family Guy, whenever Joe starts yeah. crying. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Here, serious question. Why did you open a cafe? Like, did you go to, did you go to tech and do like catering or... No, what, did, what, what is your background? Did you have a good schooling? What? Did you do well in school or like? You went to St. Paul's, obviously. No, I didn't do well in school. Do you have that, any transferable that, skills? That, that, that's why I had to do to open a, a cafe. <laughs> did you I go to St. Paul's in the Sacred Heart or did you go straight to the Sacred Heart? I went straight to the Sacred Heart. Oh, go ahead. Is that good? That's. Did you do well in your 11 plus? That's what. That's. Yeah. Oh, that's I failed she mine. She got the green light there, like yeah. basically. Green light. She uh, got the green light, the green skirt, the whole heap. <laughs> no, I wanted to go to St. Paul's, but I wasn't allowed. My dad didn't let me. Any reason? Too many RAB members. Um, I think he thought that I wouldn't do any work mm. uh, if I went to St Paul's, but joke was on him. I didn't do any work in Sacred Heart. <laughs> so, see, uh, what, that is such my mad on that. On, see, you went to mixed school, didn't you? No, I went to St Pat's in Lisburn. Like, see, well, you might have your ma might have the same view. Probably your dad the same view. My ma was like, just get him in all the lads. He'll do better. And then after three years of just fucking doing nothing, my ma was like, you're going to St Paul's. And I was like, you can't send me to St Paul's now. Do you mean? Fuck this. Imagine going to St. Paul's in fourth and fifth year. I know. After you being in St. Joe's. I know. I, know. I would have just been the black sheep. What did you, like, do you think that your ones wanted to go to an all lads school so that you wouldn't be fucking, a fucking retrobate? Distracted by family? I assume so because it was a father at 17. <laughs> so I think if I probably. Two. <laughs> Two Mom. daughters. I know. Right. Hopefully they're both lesbian, to be honest, because I don't want no fucking cock around the house bar me own. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. What do you mean? Is that not a, I thought that was a fair thing to say. No, can you not say that nowadays? The gays are coming out of woodwork. <laughs> Can't just wish more out. Or are you just... I'm not even getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <sense. laughs> Yeah, but I have two daughters. Uh, you, you've had a choice in your fucking what school? I failed my 11 plus and went, you're going here, dickhead. No, well I done. I didn't really have. I had a choice of like four, like, I didn't do well. Obviously, you had a choice of every school. I but in Lisburn, be. being a Catholic, you only have one school. Oh, right. I couldn't go to Lower Hill or Fort Hill or fucking listen to Garvey. Why? My surname, Burn. But like, Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> no, Why? See, like, it is, it's take spell. Like. Uh, see, we don't go past the hockey pitch. Yeah, and <laughs> even in your high, <laughs> like, sure, there's a f- nah, it's substantial amount of Catholics. Yeah. 60%, like. Yeah. We just, it, we just say it's the Protestant school. It's not. Yeah. No. Just let some plus. Like, there'd be no fro- fourth year wearing a poppy in that school. Aki would, no! Would they right enough? Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. is Nuri mixed, like, to a certain extent? Like, nah, it is now. Like, it's, yeah, it's uh, everything's fairly yeah. diverse, which is pretty good, to be honest. Yeah. See, after I got in Nuri, when I got dumped into Dublin, and then literally, n- like, nobody gave a fuck. Yeah. Like, actually, everyone asked where you were from, not 
what God you believed in. Uh, yeah. Which was different. Yeah. Because then obviously you're meeting people from everywhere. So I did. I, I went and then you went to Belfast and then you're back to what yeah. God do you believe in? It's I, like, I fuck shit, back to shit. Of, um, because I, I love a wee, a wee, well, not a wee, obviously an extra extra large football top. <laughs> 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 and, uh, at, do you remember in 2016, um, it was the Euros on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was flat um, out. Hi. <laughs> uh, no, I actually bought my own JD. And Northern Ireland had a class jersey. Yeah, right? yeah. So it was the one with the middle. Yeah, yeah the yeah. sleeves. Right? Yeah. And I was like, that is fucking deadly. And I bought one and I wore it and I was happy to wear it. And a, f- a friend of mine worked in the supermarket near me and she was laughing her bollocks off one day and she says to me, here, she's like, you walked in the other day and there was about three people come over to her and was like, he didn't know Liam Coo, he's Protestant. <laughs> 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 and she was like, she's not. She's like, yeah, she is. She's, she's from Northern Ireland, she's, she's, yeah. she's following the fucking Protestant Ireland. Yeah. I mean, that, that is just as be- it's so bad, isn't it? It is. And like, to be fair, I just like the top. Yeah. It's a fucking nice top. Yeah. The new one is absolutely stinking. Aye. Oh, it's Jesus. Terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. What is it, Country Roads on it or something <laughs> they're singing? I, I don't know. It's just shite. I, I want, like, you know the ret- You know the Father Ted Ireland top? Yeah. Oh, yeah. With Opal. Uh, yeah, the Opal. Yeah, yeah. That's I the proper fucking one. love yeah, that there. Exactly. Like, like, that's the one he lay in bed in. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, I love Father Ted. Like, um, <clears throat> so obviously we were talking about football there. Yeah. Do, do you do you follow? Like, do you actually do you follow football? I used to. I, well, yeah, I, I don't not follow it. Yeah. But I don't. I wouldn't say I support anyone. Yeah. I, I used to support Man United. Uh, back they got shade. Whenever, <laughs> like, whenever it was like fuck. Yeah. Know, gigs. Scolzi. Schmeichel. You're naming about six different eras here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> gigs. <laughs> Yeah. Ho- Hoyland. Yeah, Giggs all fucking played together, yeah, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Giggs was about 12, for fuck's sake, no. Giggs played for fucking a thousand years. He did, he literally played until he yeah. was 40. Well, he's fun, fucking and then fucking everyone's wife. <laughs> well, that's Pay- true. Paying off court have you, have you ever heard his poetry to his, the woman he beat? Allegedly <laughs> beat. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, it's fucking brilliant. One second. Do you know what? I think I, I feel like I have, but I've, I've been a, I've been He's being a full scouse here. He's, because obviously he's points Liverpool. So uh, he's hating a wee bit on you here. I do. Because he's going to start. See, then I stopped. I, I, like, I relinquished myself of the, the title of being a Man United fan because there was another girl in my class at school whenever I went to Sacred Heart. Yeah. And she like got wind of the fact that there was another United fan in the class. Oh. And she pretty much sat me down and was like, right, you fucking tell me right now. What do you know? What do you know about Man United? Yeah. Said, Let me tell you, you know fucking nothing. <laughs> I was like, Whoa! I was like, this is all too Rank much. Rankings, fuck me, man. <laughs> yeah. like, this is fucking too much. And I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to be a full time fucking queer. I spoke. I spoke. I, like, I, 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 I was like, so then I just, you know. Yeah. Just, yeah. So this is Ryan Giggs' poem to his ex girlfriend that he allegedly hit. My darling Kate, un, I can't say that word, unequivocally, our love was fate. I fell in love with you at first sight. I remember because I was high as a kite. Those beautiful eyes made me shiver. I'm not going to lie. I think of you. I dream of you. Can't I'm help cover. thinking pulling you was my greatest ever coup. That stomach, those abs, those pictures you sent so I can keep tabs on you makes me feel funny down there. Especially when you are there and you look up and stare. I'm beginning to think you're always right. That's okay. It will keep us tight. I'm going to end by saying you are my love, my friend, my soul. And most of all, you believe in me, which makes me feel as hard as a totem pole. <laughs> Jeffrey Giggs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jeffrey Giggs. Oh, like, that is the greatest load of bullshit. I know. Fucking name. mad. Like, like, what do you call a guy from Maroon 5? Did he not write oh, off some creepy shit? Get it up. So he, what he done was he was having an affair. And his wife was pregnant, and he named his daughter after the girl he was having an affair with. Shut up. How can somebody who writes such shite music... I know. ...with no... Fa- sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. I know. Yeah. They're coming yeah. out. <laughs> how do they run <laughs> work? <laughs> <laughs> but how, like, how? He's been sat there half an hour. Like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking rotten. Uh, like, do you know what I mean? Maroon 5, like... I know. It's That's awful. Like, you don't imagine <coughs> that anybody in Maroon 5 has ever had sex in their Yes. Yeah. The, the Maroon 5 <laughs> are in a, a sub-genre of music. Divorce damn music. Ah. Uh, Nickelback, Maroon 5. Oh. Justin, hit me with some. No, that... Uh, what was it? Divorce, Divorce damn music. music, like artists. What do you call that cunt that used to always wear that fucking hat you know I'm on about? Me. 
Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai. Fuck up a bit. Jamiroquai. What do you mean? Class, bro, don't ah, yeah. Fucking Jamiroquai <laughs> does. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is, nah. No, it's it, it, a ball bag, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Your man, Chris. Junior, right, you're going to say the hat. What's his name? Chris Martin. Chris Martin, he's a fucking wanker. I fucking hate him. He's talking about, obviously, this is on music, but not on music. Um, no, Ricky Martin. Yeah. So, um, do you know that tattoo Carl Frampton and a lot of actually celebrity Vinny Vinci, Vinci, Yeah, I came, I saw, I conquered. I, uh, yeah. one day I just said to Glenn, yeah. I was like, here, what about everyone having that Ricky Martin song on them? <laughs> <laughs> and he went, sorry, what? I says, I, Carl Frampton has that living a Vida look. <laughs> he was like, what? Oh, like fuck off. Yeah, I swear, I'm not That's joking. the most ADHD thing. You've yeah. obviously just went and then just decided. Yeah. Ricky Martin. <laughs> oh, Le- Leanne, our first episodes. For ages, Do you know I what it was? Thought. It was a podcast, but I was, that was my son and he had ADHD and I was bringing him around TK Max. Oh, sorry. Fucking just. Sorry. Shut up, you bastard. You're getting bait when you get home. Sorry, you know I mean? I'm not a big fucking celebrity comedian like yourself and being able to control myself underneath the camera and the lights. Where the fuck did that come from? He does. Me his or him? He puts me massive under Lee under pressure. Why? I'm in my own house. Why? Why, why are you under pressure? Because I have to keep. Because he comes here, we're fucking half dressed. If the t-shirt's not <laughs> stuck to him, the fucking shorts are showing. He's getting <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. There's a good draw. There's a good. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, you cut it. Right. Go for a walk. Can't right. have some time. <laughs> fuck yeah. There's a good draw in the evenings. I can be a slut and wear a pair of shorts. Put your on me blowjobs away with you for fuck's sake. I'm a sixty-year-old woman. Call back. Dot. And it's. Why are you going down? Stretch in the evenings. Not a drawing. I don't know you fucking. He's been fucking. What's, what's he's been stretching the fucking heroin addiction out. So he has. That's what he's been stretching. Fucking is like. I need to like get a lighter something for you guys to like flash you. You're meant to be getting reels. soundboard things on like. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Here, questions, right? Yep. We'll hit questions. Fucking waiting this uh, fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my trompy phone. Uh, so Leon, this is uh, someone called Match in a minute. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Yes, yeah. it does. Uh, can she catch smoke with her bare hands? <laughs> Fuck you, Ali. That's all I have to say to that. <laughs> this is, you know, right. Are you right, go ahead. Any yeah. Harry Potter fans? Yep. No, I've right. watched all the Harry Potter. Do you know Potter. who I would love to yeet off the side of a fucking mountain? <laughs> Michael Malfoy. Do you know the wee guy that was in The Prisoner of Azkaban? Right? He's a, he's a wee black kid, right? And for no fucking reason whatsoever. Is it the one that gets re- it gets real dark all of a yeah. sudden? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, 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 like, serious like, black. Uh, uh, yeah. Serious, <laughs> serious black. Yeah. Uh, it's like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. Yeah. And everybody's like. <laughs> and my such nice like, bother, but I love it. Who's that called there? Yeah. yeah. It's one of the darkest omens in our world. Right? Fucking muggle. It's the, la- it's the largest lingerie section in Ireland, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was like. Yeah. yeah. It's um, Father but, Ted. Yeah. Yeah. No, listen, you know, that was just, call back. Tie, yeah, yeah, call yeah. back. Sorry, 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 yeah, sorry. Call back. We're doing yeah. call back here. Yeah, we've been trying to do. I know. Fucking haha. Ha. <laughs> 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 I like this new podcast. Yeah, it's great. So that's much. That's much in That's Ali. Yeah, Thank fair you enough. for that. Shout out we him. should just call this Nuri in the North. It's a shout first turn off. Um, Talal Jamar. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> asks the most vague thing I've ever yeah. read in my entire life. What's the thing about people you would find most surprising? <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking question. I don't know. Now, I, I have a good answer to this. Go ahead. How people sleep. I had a friend for six months slept on the bars of his bed. <laughs> what? Because he just liked the feel of it. What do you mean? <laughs> like, he'd with, move with, the mattress. Oh, no, no. With, or, with, yeah, with he, or without a pillow? I, no, he said he'd just get wrapped up like burrito himself. Move the, the mattress sort of onto the wall a bit. But, like, he, he had the mattress. How long was he coming off crack for? What? Yeah. How long was he coming off the crack? No, he wasn't. He was 15. <laughs> <laughs> and he just... Oh, so he just for crack. Th- this was his whole thing. He was like, I just love sleeping on the bars of my bed. I love it. I love it. I, I just imagine like there's a baby walking across the fucking... Yeah. Walking across the ceiling there. Oh, it's like train spotting. Yeah. That's a bit yeah. fucking mad. Isn't though. it? And he's just like, Kieran, I'm going to say his name. I said, Kieran, you're fucking mad. And he's like, give it a try, lad. It's class. It's like, no. I you wouldn't want to be lifting up my I, fucking mattress every night. Never mind fucking landing. See, the bars. every girl. Imagine that cunt thing came down in your middle of the night. No. Yeah. See, every girlfriend I've ever had, they you make say, her sleep on the bars. No. <laughs> I'll tell you. They say, <laughs> they say that I sleep like 
I'm got schizophrenia. Like I shout my sleep and all that. Like, I'd hate that. Fuck like, that. There's a few times I've accidentally like slapped them. Not like intentionally punched a woman. I mean, as and just yeah, went, all right, ah, kids, all right, and just, see, calm down. <laughs> yeah. just, just hit a, a woman in the face right and stuff now. and all. Like, and because your mind obviously right, mad. Like, like fuck. yeah, there was one time like my most recent uh, ex. She was like, you woke up one morning and go, slap your foreskin off my head. No, she <laughs> you go my left foot <laughs> and then just went. What's foreskin? <laughs> it's the bit at the end of the no, but oh, yeah. keep the helmet. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's your opinion on local leisure centres? Grim or good crack? That's Burnsy. You're oh, the fuck, I'm, I'm a connoisseur of like Lisburn one. Like, cause we there's the gym there. We don't gym. We don't gym. Does Nuri have a leisure centre? Yeah. Is it good? Any good? Uh, three, um, it's open about three, Cafe's three, nice three, in here, three nice. months of the year. <laughs> uh, it's good. Um, and no, it's dead on, actually. I, like, I know I'm a fat cunt, but I do go to the gym. I've Sometimes. never been. Yeah, uh, and it's dead on. It's I only go to the gym to use the vending machine. That's my favorite machine. Aye. <laughs> yeah, everyone's a winner. There, Sean McAlevey used to work in the the, the leisure center there. I was because yeah, he, he, yeah. he used to do bits about he was, that. He yeah. was a lifeguard. Yeah. But do you know what? Like, <laughs> I remember in the Uri gym. swimmers. I've never been in Uri's new leisure plex. Leisure plex. <laughs> See, he's, li- he's a Lisbon man now. He, uh, what, he would have said that 10 years ago. That sounds like something from fucking Stranger what, Things. What's like. it in your ear now? Mm-hmm. Leisure Centre? You called a leisure plex? Leisure oh, plex. fuck, I have been so... That's period. City side, aren't I? Like, Jesus, what's up? Like, what the fuck? I was in the gym. Scrap near in the north. Across the tannoy came like somebody being like, can, can a lifeguard... Somebody shit in pool too. Can a lifeguard <laughs> please uh, come to the pool? And this fella, it wasn't Sean, but this fella was like... And he got up off his seat and like walked so slowly. Why are you caressing yourself? I'm not, I'm feeling my chest. Just there. Like, my you're, collar you're feeling the story, fucking... The story's getting tense here. It's getting good, like, girlie. Like fucking Audrey from Carnation <laughs> Street <laughs> telling the tale of something fucking mental. I'm just not over Deidre Barlow being dead. Or, is that all right, Leon? Is that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> right, go ahead, Leon. Fuck them. That was it. It was just the fact that it was just like... Uh, useless you know, bastard. Can, so, can a lifeguard please come to the pool? You'd be thinking, fuck. Maybe, maybe my Hurry. skills are needed. Yeah. Boom, boom. It was like... In the day, yeah. fucking yeah. hanging. Didn't you, you obviously have a massive gig on Saturday. By the time this light, it'll just have passed. Do you want to talk about it? It went well. <laughs> no, I mean, as in like, like what, what you were doing, or like where, where you're doing uh, it. No, town hall, town hall, nearly. Um, Class. It is. It actually is. The the one we did um, in February was was unreal. I was steaming. Huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, me and Darren, so he he MC the first half and I did like sort of the second half. And uh, who do who do we have? Oh, Teresa Livingston, Willie Thompson was down, um, Aaron McCann, Brilliant, and yeah. Mark, took Mark McCarney with him, who sat out the back and did. did, did we offered him a spot where like do you, do you want it? And he was like no no I wouldn't have enough material blah 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 blah. And he he took McCann down and sat out backstage. And I was like. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> the man who does everything. Ten minutes and he was like, oh, sure now. Sure. Yeah. I was like, he, you cunt. He so. is the most un, like unintentionally funniest like person ever. Like, he oh, like he, he's, he's amazing. Like. He Although he called me an ignorant looking lesbian on his podcast. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. not wrong. Apparently, <laughs> uh, <laughs> apparently, she's everything you'd want in a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you want like? what does any All he want wants is a hard worker. That's I, it. <laughs> so yeah. what? What do? What do they want? Who? What? What do you want? What do I want? What, if you're saying to other lesbians, what do you want? If you are what every other lesbian wants, no. What do you no, want in no, return? No, he didn't mention anything about what lesbians wanted. He just said she's everything you'd want in a lesbian. But that's oh, speaking, I thought you were trying to market me as a straight man. Yeah. Which oh, is I thought a you. Fucking weird thing. Ah, he's yeah. trying to marketplace you. I, I don't know. I don't Low know mileage. Yeah, Only three boyfriends. Very low mileage. No mean. Uh, yeah, I don't know what what lesbians. No commitment if I knew issues. If I wanted, then you know I probably wouldn't. You would have <laughs> be in the situation. A dog, a dog, and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> nice, you know. <laughs> and a hamster on the way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the rabbit. Oh right, right. right. Fair enough. Right. Keeping a PG. But <coughs> oh, right, okay. sometimes the children that'll cut their hair watch, so it can't it can't be full. Oh right, okay. Mm. Oh, you can't obviously be no. full. full we, fucking swear. Yeah. The whole when was through. your first gig? Like, when was the first time you ever did stand-up? <laughs> uh, it was in the bank. Uh, like, fucking... That's like. good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They was it in me, the vault? They wouldn't give him a card back. What? Were you in the vault or the bank? I, is this is this an actual, like... No, that's a part of the... question. All right, because part of the bank's called the vault. You don't know that. 
I fucking ran the place, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody ever called it the vault. It was called the vault, but nobody ever said, are you going to the vault now? <laughs> well, if you were going to no. the vault, when we were younger, when well, we were like, going in there underage, we were going to the vault. Well, you are wankers. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, the bank was for old people eating dinner. If you're going to the bank, you're eating fucking dinner. We went into the vault there, stand upstairs in the smoky air, fucking you and your regal filter. Unreal, boy. Unreal. Oh, Unreal. they were the days. So you used to illegal... So you used to probably run the place when I was running about the place. Doubtful. When were you running it? Uh, from, well, I started working there in 2002 to, and I left 2005. Was so definitely a change. I was a child. You were a child. Well, actually, tell a lie there. You could have passed your door once or twice, like. Because we were a drink, what do you call the mad part? When you were 11. I'm uh, 93, well, it was crazy times back. Sure, I was working at 13, and I was a dad at 17. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do, like? Well, you weren't in the fucking bank when you were 11. Could have been a dad at 13. <laughs> I know, obviously, it wasn't in the bank, so it wasn't fucking eating. I told you this, it was in the vault. <laughs> Smoking and fucking Stop drinking. My <laughs> you don't Stop have one. Work this out. <laughs> everything of a anyway. lesbian wants. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, I love this. What, this is what, good. Uh, what, <laughs> sell you out here. What, I don't um, think so. I'm no, I mean in the town hall. Even though no. Hey, boy, flat out selling to the travellers. Yeah. What uh, nightclubs does Nuri have? Or like in the, in oh, its heyday, like whistling donkey. The bank. Oh. The bank would have been. Well, there was the relic. There was the relic. Oh, right, which was the bed. Uh, I well, in my day, it was the relic. Uh, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night actually. Oh, yeah. they see them yeah. Bellinis was in Sundays for me then. Yeah, Bellinis then, Sunday. Like before Bellinis, it was Exchange. I see. That was the, that was the cinema, wasn't it? In between times. I never got to go to Exchange. Did you not though? No, my man <laughs> said it was <laughs> full of rapists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I kind of. So I've left my mouth there. Like. Sorry. It wasn't full of, I know, it wasn't full of rapists. There was a gay night on it, though. That's probably why. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, like, you know what Samiri's church is like on the hill? Like, you know I mean? Just looking down on them people. Like, you know what I mean? Can't be going to that fucking exchange. Go to MV. You know what I mean, it's just drugs there. Fucking VD. You remember uh, MV? I, I didn't go. I didn't what? Go. No, I didn't go to Hilltown Disco either. What? Yeah, I know. You fucking... You ran the vault and you haven't even been to Hilltown. How yeah, the fuck did you know how to run a place? <laughs> the, the vault? What the fuck no, do you this, mean? This is actually... What did you do with your childhood? Because... I'm fucking... I was in South Armagh and I was been traumatised. Stay for work. Just keeping the fucking rules clear. What do you think I'm saying? How do you fucking put milk bombs everywhere? I was giving my name and my address to fucking UDR, man. Couldn't get home. The... The Hilltown story, I fucking, I didn't want to go to Hilltown because the reason that you went to Hilltown Disco was to shift boys, right? If you were a girl. And yeah. I didn't want to shift boys. I knew this from an early age and I was like, I'm not going to put myself in that situation. You know, you know, I, see, I wouldn't have had the balls to drink. Ah, uh, I was a good child. Ah, fair enough. Good child, good child. Father would have beat the life out of you. He wouldn't have beat the life out of me. He just would have given me a dirty look and I would have turned to stone. Disappointed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not annoyed. Started self-harming in your room. <laughs> fucking hates me. I cut my uh, knife in two pieces. There was no fucking... Was, was that Papa Roach? Was yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, so one of the girls from school messaged, or messaged me. Fuck, that's bullshit. BBM'd. She fucking... She rung me uh, one, she was one Friday night. She was like, yeah, I'm There's a bomb in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was like, this is the loyalist volunteer. Uh, you come like, to Hilltown? Will you come to Hilltown Disco with us? And I was like, I don't want to. Um, her name is Caroline. I've told this story a thousand times. Uh, she was like, please, please, please come. We could crack. And I was like, I just don't want to. I don't want to. And she said, but why not? And I was like, I just don't want to. I'm a sex like, goddess and I, people are going to kiss me. I don't want to fucking come out as a 14 year old. I was like, yeah. I just don't want to go. Yeah. And then she went on and on and on. And then she says the fucking immaculate words. She was like, Leanne, is it your weight? <laughs> oh. Because and I'm going to make up a fictitious name here, um, because because uh, Tanya O'Hare's far father, the engineer, is <laughs> man. And I was like, that's it, Caroline. That's <laughs> you got it in one leg. Um, my, my obese, my rank obesity is precluding me from going to Hilltown. I'm actually, I'm sitting here right in the bath now, just thinking, how the fuck yeah. I'm going to get out? <laughs> I'm, sitting, I'm sitting here eating dirty, leaving my bare hands, <laughs> catching <laughs> smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Wishing, wishing I was thin enough to do the magazine. I just want to blend into the darkness here, okay? So, Fuck yes, that's why, that's why I never went to Hilltown. Because oh. I didn't want to shift lads. Well. But then I made up a fake. I had a fake boyfriend called Brenton. He went to St. Paul's. And it's Such mad. a rad name, like. I know, Brenton. Just to keep your dad happy. No, but it, no, it was to keep your dad happy. Brenton McCoy, you bet you was, wasn't like, it? He's like, you have a boyfriend, Leanne, don't you? And I was like, oh, yeah, Brenton, yeah. Oh, a fucking Brenton, boy. He goes to St. Paul's, he's a farmer, his ma's dead. 
Sí. <laughs> no, no, you and, and they were all like, Bailey. And I was like, yeah, his man's dead. So he, like, he sort of like rears his sisters and all. Yeah. Like, what am I caught that? Drives a Hummer. Oh yes. You're god. joking me! Oh, oh my god! So your hand needs to be oh, now. So, oh my god, that must be so. What's hard. the cocks you got, Leon? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were shifting flat out, me and Brandon. Like, uh, yeah. uh, but I was also helping raise his sisters. So. Uh, we on the pill? Uh, I actually was, because uh, <laughs> uh, his dad was an alcoholic. <laughs> my mum was dead. He had a whole, uh, had a whole back story. Back story like, oh, I like the mad day. What? I had the mad my, my day. Embarrassment because it was. <laughs> <laughs> Because our son was now in the lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Hillside because you're too big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you one of them. Shape, so I'm like, you know the way the Japanese honor killings to kill themselves? Just jump into canal court and just. That's, that's how she died. That was funny in my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> She jumped into the canal court. Why would you do Why, why would you die? fell into a big vat of gravy. <laughs> or you just fell into the central fucking reservoir of flowers I normally have there in the Froyer. In the Froyer? In the Froyer. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting very Lisburn. <laughs> yeah, the, the Froyer. <laughs> what do you think of Friar Tux? <laughs> The, flo- the flooded one or the fucking the non underwater? Do you like? Do you, do you like I, I, pr- I, I had my first ever one. I, I did the whistling donkey about last year, yeah. and it, it, it was nice. I got like I got my chicken burger and I got like a chicken gravy chip. Like it was nice. Wrong it's order. Not called chicken gravy chip. You faggot. <laughs> <laughs> chicken supreme. You fucking idiot. It's a fucking super chip. Super chip. Yeah. You should have got the chicken, chicken supreme. Gravy. Chicken supreme is it like? Uh, yeah. Uh, chicken supreme and coleslaw. Yeah. Oh. Oh, do you, do you fall tilt into that? Oh, oh I coleslaw too, I love che- it. Chicken burger, extra coleslaw, chicken supreme, extra coleslaw, and then strawberry milkshake, two straws, please. See, even Dulce Vita. Like, oh. What do you get from Dulce Vita? Chicken chip kebab, extra cheese, extra sauce, extra chicken. A wee bit of salad. Don't be putting too much of that salad on there. or come in and I'll fucking throw it back at you. And then say, no he's, he's fucking allergic to vegetables. Like, I'm I not love veg. Le- I, lamb. Sunday dinner. Carrots, parsing up a whole heap. Gives it right now. But see, you fucking. I you don't go home and just be like, here, you know what I'd love? You know what a feta cheese and fucking animal food? Season. <laughs> you know what I mean? See, see, since oh, I was 16, I've seen, seen him probably eat four dinners. He's the person. Nah, I'm you on gr- my feet for fucking <laughs> 20 hours a day. Hold on, right? I can eat whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> He's that child you'd call for, and he'd always be eating the KFC growing up. That's Cahill. Nah, see, this is the I'd prob- get McDonald's nah, four times a week. That, that's Cahill. Nah, this is the problem. Lad. See, when I was growing up, my man didn't let me have anything. See, this is why I abused You're the like, fuck have, out of it. I have my own money. I have fucking... 13, by that was the start of it. Yeah. I swore, see, until <clears throat> I had my own dough, all I was allowed was my water, or water, or milk. That's yeah. why I told you. I, like, I should drink two liters. Two litres of water, or two litres of milk. My, my waddy's for Catholics and Robinson's is for broads. I'm, I'm a turncoat. You Robinson? Oh, for uh, fuck's sake. Yeah. This, this Bastards have got me. I got Robinson's house now. Someone's yeah. here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Take Mason That's Christopher off me. That is. <laughs> but I still have the my waddy, just, it, it's not right if it don't. I don't like my waddy, I think it's fucking minging. I like the pear and apple one's fantastic. It actually feels apple a bit... Appleberry? No, it's, it's pear and apple, not appleberry, you mad cunt. <laughs> yeah, but there is there is a subsection of fucking money that's called Appleberry. It's, it's fucking it's nah called subsection. Jeez, there's enough fucking subsections money. going on tonight. Yeah, sub, sub, <laughs> subsection of fucking. <laughs> fucking this, 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 cordial, this, this episode's yeah. going to be called subsection. Cordial porn. Oh, <laughs> here. Speaking of cordial porn, Porter. are you on about the? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know we were in a fucking porn episode. Porn, like friendly porn. No. I didn't, didn't know we were in a fucking episode. Either way, he waved to me this morning. Fuck. No, the glass. Went to the vault this evening. <laughs> well, you would for this. The, no, the glass bottle of Elderflower. Oh, oh yes. Cordial no, porn. I tell you why. I've I've beef with that. Reminds me of my granny being in a nursing home and her saying they're all poisoning me because <laughs> she was bipolar. <laughs> right. Right. She'd guide well, as well. She's not premium anymore. Should go out because of all the elderflower. What <laughs> even is elderflower? Has anyone ever seen an elderflower? No. Ah. Have you? It's like a beige colour. Get a picture up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> hold with all that fucking gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> elderflower, fucking this, that, and the other. Why? Gin and all. Because it's gay. <clears throat> Why? I d- see, I don't. if I was going to drink, I would need to drink gay drinks. It literally is like a daisy. <laughs> yeah, it is. I would need to drink gay drinks. So what would be your drink of choice? Um, gay daisies, see, um, elderflower. Um, I don't know. The last time I was properly polaxed, it was on that jaw box pineapple gin. You fuck my homo. life. That is homo. I know, so bad. And, and coke. N- no sprite. I don't be a wanker. 
Oh right, sorry. He he, he was pouring. Cocaine. He, uh, yes, yeah, so he, he wasn't pouring it. He was sniffing it. Ah, uh, you oh, you were going down the waves of the coke up. Right, up with okay, the coke, okay, down with okay. the sprite. Uh, oh, oh, pineapple. Like, do you not like? Is, you there, not, <laughs> is there not a part of your soul that <coughs> fucking dies? We see what happened. So obviously, <laughs> in the younger years of the hardcore drinking, going to the vault. Uh, <laughs> I just want to fuck you off this. Um, I was on the bucky, and then when I sharply became a dad, fucking hang up the bucky and just went. No what? Word. I think I'll fucking order a woman's drink instead. <laughs> no, no, I just stopped drinking. Oh, right, so okay. we don't drink it on the ease, so he was no, it's just, the gym. Yeah, 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 what's up? Nah, well, I just I basically just started not drinking anymore and just slowly phased out over the rest of my life. And now nah, I don't really drink. Like I go out in Belfast and the Mars night out and be sober. What? What do you mean, Liam? See, oh, when I God. first met him, he was on tannin injectors. He looked like Acorn. I'm not joking. He thought I was a traveller. He thought he was a traveller, and he'd just be. He, he would have went juiced for a load of days. Like he was just fucking on the on the drink, like flat out. Like oh, wasn't that bad? Tell her this. Tell her the story about your house party. Nah, because we told that one. No, but Liam sh- hasn't heard it. It's funny. Re- which bottom, one? Bottom There's a couple it, of them. Bottom point it, bottom um. So one time house party, but why love us carry on with the usual. So uh, wait, there's been is this the one that I get, get locked myself out? Yeah. Aye. So obviously I can't remember. I couldn't find my house keys and the taxi was there. No, we've all been in this situation before. Steaming. And then I was like, better go. So jumped out the window. Common sense. <laughs> Close the window. No, no, not the second floor window or anything like just jumped out the bottom floor window. Obviously, me thinking I was fucking James Bond and be like, taxi. Hold on, you were in a, the last the last time I House party. He had a tent. Oh, but you said you were in a taxi. I know, but I had to get to the house first. So at this stage, <coughs> uh, Bernsey fucked it up saying it was a house party. It wasn't a house party. He was leaving the house, couldn't find the keys, get in the car. You said bullet points, bang, bang, in the car, bring the people back. People wondering how I'm getting the house. How get, fuck, get in, gal. I said, fuck, let them keys in Belfast. Start trying to put my own door through. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, at this stage, people were trying to watch me put my own door through. He went, don't party night then. So obviously, the rest of them fucked off while I'm standing in the car going, how the fuck did I do this? I can't believe I've done this. And then just came me, I went, you stupid bastard. Do you know what you should do? Like, uh, this is a podcast idea. You should get somebody to set up a fucking paradox over there <laughs> and make a fucking thumping house track just to you talking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like Fred again. You ever see your man Fred yeah, again? Yeah. yeah. What do you it's mean? It's like a fucking auctioneer. So I had the worst come down in my life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wake the fuck up, that guy. Yeah. yeah. yeah be pretty good. Like, I'd just be a big fucking drop in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah I'd be all right. It yeah. would it would really fix his ADHD, like. What? It, yeah. What? No, sure. Probably wouldn't. I already had a theme song anyway. What was it? That's all star. Do you ever hear a theme song? Yeah. Yeah. For fuck's sake, did he's promoting his own business on a podcast. What are you? Of course you am. Fuck's sake. Did like? Does that, has anybody ever said to you that's shite? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time. You know what's even worse? This song. You ready for this? Oh fuck! There's actually a couple of them now. Jesus, a couple of remixes. He, of he thinks that he he. Came up with the saying, like, he's like, my name oh, is it called? removed. Oh, maybe it's a. Well, they're putting it in mugs and all in Belfast. Yeah. <laughs> Bastards owe me money. That's like calling somewhere up the rah. <laughs> like, look what I did. Oh, it is, like, ready? Oh, they've changed oh, it, have oh, they? The keeper lit, butchers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear you, ready? It just goes fucking mad. Where is it? I need to get this bit. See, they've actually released it now as a proper song. Just says at us now in the middle of it. Shit. He loves it. I do love it. M- remember what when that mean? went that viral? That was fucking brilliant, though. No, it was no, a marketing like, fucking genius. Yeah, but I'd like. But I don't see no one down at home going, "Ah, fucking McCoys, that's good at cracking it." <laughs> Fuck's sake! Woo! No, always <laughs> right up. No, but like it had like you know every dog has his day. Like. <laughs> well, it's been fucking seven and a half years. Some fucking day. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that you're fucking. Fucking Ollie's his day out there. For fuck's sake, he's in the Higgs's holiday camp. But there was like there was a wee fear. I know, I know. It's it fitted in. Yeah. And then if you say it now, people will be like. Oh. I can't wait until ten years until Chinese tourists treat this place like Giant's Causeway and they're just taking photos so, of it. I'm not even joking. Some cunt the ass, right? What do you say? Gary's standing about doing the usual, right? Next thing, this boy would say, "Blocked, fucking steaming." Next thing, he's closing the door over. So obviously we're like, you alright mate? And he was like, ah yeah, just closing the door, want to get a selfie. And I kid you not, stood there and took about 25 pictures, blocked. And Gary was like, are you fucking saying this? He says, if one of the world. So see to be honest, see this, this will die with me. So whenever I move on to the new location and do whatever I'm doing, the name will die with me. Right. I'll not be selling it on, I'll not be passed on, it's staying with me. Uh, what do you want to call it? The next one? The next one. 
Opera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> La <laughs> Dolce Vita of something. Yeah. The Dolce Vita. You look at the Vita Luca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I've got the names there. I don't want to give it out there. It's all fucking hush hush. Spin the wheels, auto parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I thought in my head I would have the Atos as my business brand forever because <laughs> then I have Atos Home, Atos Nah, Atos Laughing. Are we going to do a comedy club in here somewhere? You know what I mean? Right. Obviously, when Burns, he goes self-employed. That's him not paying his bills. <laughs> <laughs> That's us laughing. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I see what, no, I see what you're, you're, you're... Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, do you mean? Because you know the tax man would be like, that's all one business. And I'd be like, that's it not, actually. It's <laughs> actually 15 and a half there, all making £79,000, mate. Not one of them ready for that. Here's the fucking energy. No, Here's trust energy me. energy for this. See if it was to get out of paying a score, he'd do it, like. What do you mean? He did. Jeez, he he calls me tight. Tighter than a duck's asshole <laughs> on the Thames at the minute. Justy, am I tight? What the fuck? <laughs> Give me a shout later, bro. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> Are you tight? I'm a fuck. Lad, you still have your Holy Communion money. I for do fucking... not. Just because he made his Holy Communion about fucking two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> robbed us fucking... He went and bought a cure off a of granny there. Robbed us from her. Robbed us from her. Fuck her. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What was it? Micro. No, it didn't. It, it, it's my first ever proper car. It's a Vauxhall Astra. And he's still fucking wrong. An Astra. An Astra. 2012. That's two cars he's owned now. Both owned by... 1.2. 1.4. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Itty break. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, many miles on her. How many miles was it? Uh, just 100,000. 100,000? 100, 100, yeah. Where was your granny spending around the place? Well, I... <laughs> Let's say about that the better we'll say. I'll tell you off camera. Lord. <laughs> Lord. Bow well, minute. Um Drug run for the yeah. yeah. Is there any more questions? Uh, yeah, actually I was just went right. I just know you see if you're playing I know, I, see if you've beat you me on what? Candy Crush. Probably was like fuck me. <laughs> you coming up? No, I'm I'm enjoying this. I was just trying to uh, figure some shit out for your for your pages. Um He's debating it. So right well, okay. Okay, here, hear me out. <laughs> Jack McGee asks do you ever think they should bring the death penalty back? And if so, what for? Nonsense. No, but that's an easy one. It means, like, cyclists are fucking... Yeah. yeah. Oh, would you just not agree with me one day? people no? that don't say please and thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah. fucking hate Aye. Aye. Manners are free, like. They are. I, I mortally yeah. fucking detest people. Who my, my pet peeve is when you let someone out driving and, you know, they give oh, you the way. they don't give you the hazards. Yeah. Are that, the hazards are that dirt. Fucking, like, that yeah. does my fucking you. head in. Yeah. That is the worst one, actually. Yeah. When you stand out of somebody's road in the street, you know, you, like, you know, you were like, and they just, they don't acknowledge, I fucking hate mm. that too. See, you, uh, you mean, in Yuri, you wouldn't, you have to acknowledge people in Yuri, because I feel like in Yuri, if you didn't acknowledge somebody, by the time you got home, did they hit you with this? Uh, they scan that's you. A, yeah. I actually, it's funny, I was doing that earlier, bye. That, that gives me, the, well, that's death penalty fucking shit. No, <laughs> it's not, what the fuck? It's all on the wrist. Oh, so you can't do it, obviously. It. Were you up in Port there on Sunday? Uh, I was actually one to talk about Port there. Fuck, that was rash. Did you go up? That was fucking rash. Did you bring the Evo up? No, it was in the chopper. Chop, nowhere fucking near to you, mad. <laughs> nah, the thing was tailed back the whole way to fucking up near Coleraine. I wasn't going near. So my dad calls Derry because he's got PTSD from the troubles. <laughs> <laughs> up what, here. What is, what, 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 what are you talking but, about? So there's the, uh, oh, see, this is what I mean. People what? from Newry and South Armagh don't know about Portrush. <laughs> Sorry. What about Portrush? I'm, I'm aware it exists. Like, exactly. Have place. you ever been to po Portrush? Yeah. Like in your childhood? Once? <laughs> no. In your childhood? No. You were doing exactly. <laughs> you were this doing it. <laughs> Ollie, leave her alone for fuck's sake. She's here. No, ah, for fuck now. She chance. was delivering a retaliation pipe bomb. Send it back the old way. Yeah. He played yeah. my daddy's business. Do you yeah. know this number? There's yeah. a bomb underneath the big dippers, and there's one outside <laughs> in the car. Yeah. <laughs> here, I'm sorry. You paid for something there. You left something. Just came up and followed you. There you go. <laughs> So oh, this, is, this is what I was saying then. I was saying, when you're from Newry, you actually what never... <laughs> That's all right. Go ahead, you bite you. So Justin, photos here. When you're from... Oh, thank you. Uh, when you're from Newry, you don't actually go to Port Rush <laughs> as, a ch as a child. No, you don't. You go to Barry's town. I know, but <laughs> I was trying to explain to them this. But you're telling me you've been to Port Rush. I fucking went as an adult. <laughs> all right. So you know what fucking Port Rush is at Easter then? The biggest it's like, it's, it's all biggest... like lowered cars and all fucking boring. It's not just lowered cars. It's the biggest fucking car event of the year. It's the start of the events of the year. It's fucking massive. But no one's a fucking uproar. No, no one is an uproar. Well, can't park in the grass. Can't park in the fucking grass. I was I had never seen any grass port. Road. Well, you'd not know this. See if you have a flute, <laughs> a drum, not a tin whistle. 
If you have any of the ah uh, instruments there that you could portray as a gun, park in the grass. But if you have a fucking Mint 325A Sport from 1989. I am going to say I've understood about 15% of the words that he said. <laughs> well, see when this reel goes out, we do see the fucking legs. <laughs> Up the fucking cruise. Get on the grass. The, uh, the kids are trying to... Do what they do is... There's a, get it up on TikTok, though. Turn your vo- volume down. Just put in Port Rush. There's like a... So what happens is every year, people bring shovels and all and basically cut away this embankment on the grass. So it lets everyone take on their fucking mint yokes. I don't know what the dog's on me. Mint <laughs> yokes. I mint. Well, not just green. Like, do you mean mint isn't like nice looking... Nice smelling. You see, I that's one th- I don't understand the fascination Yokes. with fucking lowered cars and tents. And so <laughs> this is this is what it's like. Oh yes, look at them D turbos. Oh look at that there. Jesus. Oh look at the fucking Lexus and that. Like why don't Jesus. you just fucking? <laughs> <There is. laughs> oh well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, oh look at this here PD uh. bit out by. Get the boys digging the hole out. Put it in. <laughs> oh, I so did not find that. Why don't you just wear a badge that says, I'm a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, clearly it wasn't. It was a dad 17 and me at that vape. I thought you were a dad 13. No, I was working at 13. I changing it. Uh, no, I was working at 13. You're working on getting your hole. <laughs> no, I was working. I was working on... Oh, Carl. Leanne's doing you here. Like. Uh, <laughs> fucking steady on. She'd be doing me like she was doing the Travellers for fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 Just how long have we done here? I was the day she turned lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Uh, right, Leanne, do you have anything to plug? Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no. <laughs> again? Uh, sure, I did right, it when she got here. Right, do you know where the fucking lads, right, all put out podcasts, fucking yep. questions, fucking mud blood, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Always, any questions for the podcast. Mm-hmm. I always ask this question, right, and they never do it. What would Princess Diana's McDonald's order have been? Oh, no, is it for one or two? That's the question. No, it's just her getting in by herself. It's just her. Like, she's, uh, oh, she's right. Oh, let, I'm going to break no, this. This is a si- No, hold on a minute, right? Sorry. This is a six marker GCSE question, right? So she was obviously miserable in a marriage. Yeah. Didn't give a fuck about how she looked, right? Yeah. Wasn't getting the ride. So she, she got a Big Mac. She did give a fuck about how she looked. She had fucking bulimia. Filet. I'm Bulimic sure I just forget to do the second part side no husband. <laughs> sure she's a side husband and side kid no but what I mean is see when you're down in the dumps gingers like, as well ginger yeah, shake that's, that's right filet au bonnet right. anyway, she, she, she would have got a Big Mac meal with a mayo chicken and a double cheeseburger because that's what I would have got and I'm a fucking princess like <laughs> clearly that fucking hand <laughs> I know okay. what are you I, mean, I keep forgetting how to do that heart see, or something here. I think that she probably would have had yes absolutely she would have had a mayo chicken right mm. she would have had it and she would have had a fucking large fries and then she would have had a vom what's the vom? a book oh, oh uh, yes yes right I was like, fuck, I've never seen this in the menu. But she would have had six nuggets for after the bomb. Yes. Ah. Ah. See, I would have went more two plain double cheeseburgers. Sweet chilli wrap. Maybe a vol. Sweet chilli wraps back in... Oh, uh, so give me two plain cheeseburgers. (laughs) Um, Three chicken slacks. Oh, any chicken slacks back then? I don't know if there's chicken slacks back No, I just fucking classic so. mem- memory. Fucking you know what, cla- like, no, it's, it's a, or she might have got a happy meal. Uh, like, and then she could poke into the fucking yeah, yeah. Into the box. And then, Harry, look up a toy. <laughs> and then play with the toy. Yeah. Do you like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? So two playing cheeseburgers and a Happy Meal. I, I have to snap this. This is fucking mental. Why? Because this dog doesn't like men. <laughs> well, it's obviously the Nuri oh. man handle, dog handler in me. The traveller in me. <laughs> you, that is a man that stole a lot of greyhounds. Like. Oh, Jesus. Shit. I could sell this as a lurcher in the morning when you see, but <laughs> give me a comb there and I'll brush that coat smooth. Did you not have a family member well, that done that? What the fucking state of that photograph you took? That's good, they're laughing at it. Smelling the dude clean after. <laughs> no, I just, I look like a fucking... I, I make like sure to get bad photos of Adam so he gets annoyed at me. Cheers. <laughs> you all right there, Cecil? You all right? Don't worry, I'm not trying to finger your shining, don't worry. Ooh. It's fucking Someone slid into your DMs. Oh. Is Leanne getting a bit? Oh, no. we no. Uh, All right, okay, fine. Lisbon fluff before you head up the road. Absolutely no. We bit a tickle from the UDA <laughs> end. No, we'll, we'll head to the vault after this. A, a bit of <laughs> yeah. A better finger. Want to come to the vault with me? Oh, <laughs> now you're getting it. We call the the d- Daddy, I've met this woman from uh, Nuri. I think she's taking me to a bank and shooting me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She's taking me to the Bank of Ireland here. There's a vault next door. It's yeah, fantastic. We're, the vault, then we're going to go to the leisure plex. I never knew the vault had a smoke she says in there's area. a great vending machine there. <laughs> <laughs> and she's having a hard time getting some fucking Maltesers out of her. <laughs> I can't cope with you. I don't mean to keep doing it. Stop fucking sitting there. Sorry there. Chill out there. I don't mean to keep doing it. I'm sorry. You're right. Is the dog all right there? 
Oh, he's all right. There we go. You're off, as I say, you're you're on the circuit now. You're one of us. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. You're one of the lads. You're one of them. No, I don't know. It means you're due some other Stay one of us. Stay one of me. Syndrome. I get it. Uh, I get it though, and it is. It's, yeah. It sucks, Dick. But you need to also remember, like you didn't. It doesn't get, suck, Dick. Though. Fuck up, right? <laughs> you didn't. You didn't just get here from being, oh, suck just Liam. You, at least you can you, say that. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you got it for because you obviously you're good at this. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I emceed a lot down there, so that's up. But like, see, it is like licking your fingers after a mic. Like if thinking. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy days. You know, oh, Does I, this I, taste I've, good? I've sold out a fifty seater that I own yeah. in Newry. You know, obviously, great things await me. So mm-hmm. I'll go and book the fucking SSE. That's yeah. not yeah. how it works. Like not yet. You know, no. Uh, no. Um. So yeah, I'm, but it's um. I don't know it's fucked up. Like, cause when I went to the pub the other night, all the gays were sitting down in the back, mm-hmm. and I was like. Awkward. I just sort of stood there for a while and I was like, I better go down and say hello. And I was like, hello. Scan you. Fellow kids. Yeah. Hello. Um, What's up, know. virgins? I didn't really know what to do. I was like, yeah. I don't really all right, but, no, but, but seriously, like that that's what it's all about. Like my whole thing is like like see as long see I'm gonna use the term you're new because you're gigging outside of Nuri. Yeah. But see as long as you're signed and you're not like well, you know, I actually did this here. See as just as you're signed, nobody gives you shit. Like it's different whenever you're being an asshole that's like me personally i'd be like i wouldn't directly say something to you but i'd just keep my distance yeah do you know what i mean like i'm very like diplomatic but i'm also like nah you fucked me off like i'll never yeah, speak to you no, again like what's the point like? yeah have you any advice for us with at sauce laughing with the idea yeah and for me emceeing to be honest because he's going to emcee something hopefully learn from your own personal experience with your gig that you run since well, your fellow furnace, ginger and yuri like snap short to be honest like the gig in my place was more Darren than me oh, right. in terms of Hard comedy, <laughs> like the actual mechanics of it. Yes, I had the venue. Yes, I had uh, 24,000 followers on Facebook, uh, oh, the, which is absolutely licking their fingers after a wank that. <laughs> 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 so, so that kind of thing was good. Yeah. But the actual brains, the operation was Darren. Like, mm. Yeah. Um, so Pencil that down for the next one, will you? Yeah. <laughs> so I suppose it's all about being consistent. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, That's what we've been trying to... Quality. Um, you know, yeah, good Axe. quality, consistency, and I, sub- I don't know. I, I don't yeah. know. What do you do it once a month? We did it once a month. See, my place is closed now, obviously. Yeah. Um, but we're we're doing that once a month. We're going to take it like round different places in the town, like mm. different bars and stuff. Yeah. Um, and so it's kind of like that's that whole panic station, you know. Yeah. Pulling into the next stop, you know. Yeah. That's cool, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. I Cheesy, Some. It's cheesy, yeah. but it's good. Like, yeah, that's the work uh, somewhere. So, yeah, I suppose, yeah, consistency and um, just be dead on, I suppose, yeah. to, to your customers and to, yeah, and, and not fucking fold after the first, if it doesn't take off after like two weeks, mm-hmm. be like, fuck that. Yeah. It does take. Yeah. It does take. I think I'll be in a fucking year of this and I'm near ready to fold this like a deck chair. Because. <laughs> We're joking. Nobody cares, <laughs> Birds here going to cry there. Nobody cares more about your business than you do. Everybody else in the world does not give a fuck. Cotton give a fuck. And if you prepare for something like for three months or six months or whatever length of time, that's all you think about. But the people, nobody else is thinking about because they don't know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So Very you have true. exhausted yourself by thinking this through and thinking it through and planning and blah, blah, blah. blah. So you're expecting to be like, Boom. Yeah. People to be like, wow. Oh my god. They days. don't know because you know, they're all inside your head. Yeah, yeah true. So you have to sort of build in that bit of time for it to be shit. Hot. Yeah, of course, absolutely. But like. then if you, I'm going to assume that you've got a good social media following. I wouldn't have as good as yours. I'd be at the 10K. I know. <laughs> that was all on the back of a name, though. On, so I've done on, fuck all bar. On Facebook. Put a name on it. Yeah. yeah. Still 10. Like but yeah, on Instagram, like many thousand followers do you have? Not loads. I think you have near 2,000. I think I'm across my, between me, the shop, and the house account, maybe 10 again. Like. Yeah. What do you mean the house? That's us home. So we bought a house and he went super white boy and like. No, how long? <laughs> Before it was a thing to start flipping houses, I wanted to do it. And then my partner's Polish, so my partner is real against security breaches, privacy outside of the house. Kind of like. Him? 
<laughs> Robert, am I joking? Um, <laughs> Her dad's called Robert. <laughs> um, so after, I think what happened was one day she was at home bargains and at this stage I was posting so much stuff. I was flat out doing stuff. And it was really good, like I was enjoying it. And then some a girl came up to her in home bargains, which obviously was going to happen. I was like, oh my God, I love the house. What are you doing next? And she got home and she went, don't you fucking ever post that picture again. And I was like, okay. I was like, fair enough. Now at this stage, my missus had been in a very bad car accident and shit was going down the pan, personal ways and all. But we didn't know us at this stage. We only found out she had a fractured pal- pelvis six months later. So I, that probably made sense why she didn't want any cunt looking into her fucking bedroom and what way her drawers were going to be set. So which was fair enough. But if I get a different house that I don't live inside, I'll flip that and put it on the TV. Hopefully, no wonder other little grand design or something. Could you imagine him being BBC ready? Yo, you cunt, you! Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Alan! In the yard! Motherfuck! <laughs> See, Alan's late! Here, I'll tell you a funny story. My, so, my granny, bipolar, mental, loved her. Well, she was alright, sound. Uh, God Bargain rest her. Who's yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. bipolar? Yeah. She, she used to insulate her house with her coats. Fuck off! I swear to fuck, guy. My mum will tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, in, like, 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 sticking, like, inside the walls. Oh, why? Yeah. Or up, up, in, uh, the on, up in the attic, it was all insulated by fur coats. Fuck off. Right. Say the house was roasting, was it? <laughs> I, I th- I'd imagine so, like. It'd be cheaper to just get insulation. Yeah. Nah. The, the same woman that there was a, a, a factory fire, and so my mum is like four, she's four siblings, so like including herself, there's four siblings. I took the four kids when this fire died down and went, right, listen, this is a factory fire. We're going to go in, get the rest of the copper and whatever's in there. <laughs> took a lot of delight. <laughs> like, took her four kids and sca- salv- like scavenged like an abandoned building. Like. Scavenged. Scavenged, oh, yeah. <laughs> Scavenged in an abandoned building, like. Much copper to come out with? I don't know, but they had a pram full of copper and it broke. <laughs> yeah. so weird. Lily didn't fuck about, like. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I come into here? I know. You're in the north. I just, I, I just sit behind the camera for a reason. <laughs> I, I'm just fucking Caesar Milan here the night, by. No, you're like fucking. <laughs> 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 you're like fucking Blofeld. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Hello, no, James. He does need a service dog, doesn't he? You need a service dog for that hand. I, can't. <laughs> I actually didn't mean to do that. Oh, bollocks. He needs a service dog. He needs a service dog. I swear. I'm never beating the, the allegation. <laughs> <laughs> it's half a joke and it's also half me just doing that. I've never realised like I've done that. You fully need, a, you know, like women that have the glasses that yeah. have them on a fucking rope. Uh, <laughs> Girl, you need, uh, you need the them. click ones. Uh, don't, don't try and botch it up. Uh, I'm, yeah. to have to put it up. I'm doing the Andrew Tate. <laughs> Women are stupid. Women are stupid. Right, but on that note, tell your ma's asking better. Yes. And the dog says well. Yeah. He's been loving life here. Yeah, this is yeah, that's, that's very strange. My knee's well. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's me, though. Okay. Clock. <laughs>